morning. Welcome to today's very warm video. I'm out and it's 30, 32 degrees. It's a tad warm. Two reasons for coming out today. One, I just scraped over by one mile yesterday which was Saturday my 100 mile target for the week so anything above that is helping claw back the shortfall from being injured and unwell earlier in the year so if I can do 15 or so or 20 it'll just help to claw some of that back and I might just be able to get myself back on target at the end of the year My second and main reason for me coming out is to try and test this shirt. As I mentioned in my last video, I've got a new shirt. It's a brand called Suki or Suke, however you'd like to say it. I guess they were what you call a mid-range brand. They've got some very, very nice designs. And as the influencers say, they reached out to me, so I took their hand and welcomed them to send me a shirt. So here it is. They gave me uh, disclosure, they gave me free reign to have a look at their website to pick a design that I liked. So one of the reasons I've wanted to try this shirt in the very warm weather is it's quite thin, definitely a summer weight shirt. And down the side, under the arms, and at the sides of the, of, the, uh, of the jersey, it's got open mesh, which I won't show you while I'm riding along. Future me will pop up in a short while and through, run through some of the more technical details of the shirt off the bike. As uh, mid-range shirts, budget to mid-range shirts go, I'm really impressed with the design actually. And it's got these sleeves that I really like. So you don't have a cuff as such, they're just close fitting. And you feel aero, even if you're obviously not, you feel a little bit aero in this style of shirt. But there is something weird about it. In the flesh, this shirt definitely looks more green. But I noticed when I filmed it and also took a photograph of it, it appears more blue, more turquoisey. I don't know why that is. It's just weird. One of the other things I like about the general design is the neck. It's kind of not too high, but it's close fitting. It's got a very small collar. I've got a couple of shirts where the collar is quite thick, quite high, and it can be a bit irritating on a long ride. But I've done a couple of longer rides wearing this shirt, and it is very, very comfortable. One of the things about this particular shirt, not all of the suitcase shirts, but certainly this one, is it is intended, designed to be a close fit. So maybe not quite a race fit, but certainly a sporting fit as opposed to being casual or loose fitting. Generally, depending on the brand of shirt, I kind of alternate between a medium and a large. But in certain brands, like this one and Castelli, I'm an XL or even a 2XL. Can be a little bit frustrating sometimes trying to go by size. So I think often, particularly with some of the Far Eastern design shirts, it makes sense to look at the size charts. Double check, measure yourself, email them if you're not sure. So what I actually ended up doing on this one was sending them my measurements and letting them choose the size for me. Seems to have worked okay. One of the things that I've noticed recently, last couple of weeks, because it has been very warm, is um, I've got one particular shirt. It's quite a nice shirt, 
it just just makes you really hot it doesn't seem very breathable which is one of the reasons for testing this one and i'm pleased to say it works really nicely the mesh down the side you can certainly feel as you're riding along the fact that air can get in through that mesh presumably then circulates around your back which of course is the bit that tends to get sweaty when you're riding putting in an effort so i've been pleased with this shirt so far so as i say future me is going to drop in here and go through a few of the more technical details of the shirt which i can't really show you whilst i'm riding along hello so hottest day of the year future me suitcase shirt which uh, just run you through some of the details on it as you can see very nice collar quite close fitting the zip has got a rubberized tag on it which is quite handy the sleeve design that i mentioned that i'm quite i'm quite fond of you can see it's one piece essentially that comes down making a band around your arm which i quite like you can see there's a minimum amount of seams on it on the back the pockets you've got three equally spaced pockets there's no zip pocket um there is a reflective strip on each side there and there and you've got a branding down the center as you can see at the back it is shaped uh, to curve down slightly on the back which is obviously longer in in use so overall i think the cut of it is, is pretty good it's as good as any other shirt that i've got whether they be castelli or whatever for sure let me just show you the inside of it now so i mentioned in the vlog earlier that the sides have got this mesh so as you can see the seams are flat but you've got this mesh on the side which is quite stretchy but quite also quite transparent so you can see through there that does give you quite a good amount of airflow pretty standard on the inside you've got a couple of strengtheners on the reverse of the pockets I mentioned on the previous shirt that's obviously going to be a little bit of strengthening there because that would be a weak point if you're trying to put stuff in and out of your pockets um, as, you, as you can see that I mentioned it but the, the seams are pretty flat and you don't really feel any of the seams overall it's a close fitting shirt and you can see that the the waistband of the shirt has the Suke logo on it in silicon with some little dots so it's not a solid band but there's enough grip there to make sure that the shirt stays in place so that's a quick run through of the Suke shirt technical details oh yeah 85% polyester 15% elastine so it's quite nice and stretchy back to the previous video out on a bike so today I'm heading out east quite a nice little sheltered bit at the moment under the trees which is not a bad place to be Oh, a horse here, look. So as it is so warm today, I'm not breaking any speed records. I'm just taking it easy. In a few days time, it's forecast to be the hottest days ever in the UK. If it does hit the predicted 40 degrees, you're gonna be out on your bike riding part of me says I think you just have to just to say that you've ridden your bike in 40 degree heat but it, is, it would be chopping hot wouldn't it so back to the suitcase shirts I forgot to mention one thing when they came they were superbly wrapped really nicely gift wrapped so if you were buying a shirt for a present it would look great very good branding on the packaging as you may expect I'll drop a link below to the Suke website if you're interested in the products. I've also got some bib shorts from them, which I shall do a future review on too. So yep, certainly good shirt, definitely recommended. It's very comfortable and I think a nice, very nice styling, very nice design. One of the good things today, probably because it is so warm, there's not a lot of cars on the road. So it's nice to just have a nice quiet meander on a Sunday, eh? So thanks as always for watching, don't forget to check out Suke Cycling's website, 
thanks as always for watching see you again in a few days time bye for now Bye.